I am your astrologer Wonder Girl taking you to new heights. Here is your daily forecast for the day of Sunday, February 11th, 2018. Now before I get started, I just wanted to say two things. First of all, thank you to everyone who came out to my webinar today. I hope it was worth your time. I really appreciate that. Um, I will have that recorded and emailed out to you, the, the finished version, soon. I'm just putting together a quick worksheet to go with it because someone suggested that. Um, so there's that going on. Also, I will have a March webinar coming to at the very end of this month that I will announce soon. So be on the lookout for that. Um, also, some of you have have asked me about my planner um, I don't you know maybe you don't want a physical version for whatever reason which is totally fine um, so I so I did make a PDF version of my 2018 planner available on my website and I will put the link to that down down below <laughs> if you still want the planner uh, but you want a cheaper version or you would rather print it out yourself you can do that instead okay so I just wanted to let you know about that as you all get my planner in in the mail <laughs> also please let me know what you think <laughs> <laughs> what you like, what you don't like, all of that, so that if I do this planner again, which I would like to next year, um, I can improve it and I can make it better and maybe next year I'll have an editor <laughs> so there will be less typos and things like that, okay? So just give me your feedback uh, when you receive those. Um, awesome. Now I'm just going to go in um, to your horoscope for the day. Now what's going on? is that we do have Saturn uh, right, or sorry, we do have the moon right here in Capricorn, okay, where it entered last night. And when the moon is in Capricorn, our attention comes to uh, where our life is going, our life direction, our reputation, our career, <laughs> our social standing, how we can put our life in the right direction, put our life in the right place that we want it to go in. Also to keep in mind, because of all of this focus on important matters too, the moon also doesn't like being in Capricorn <laughs> uh, because the moon can't feel as free and as comfortable as it wants to feel because it's got work to do <laughs> when Capricorn comes in and big matters that are important. Um, so even though we're thinking about some very important things in life, it could be a little bit hard for us. It could be a little restricting for us because these things on our mind, yeah, are important, are serious, okay, and are requiring us to maybe put a little bit of our feelings on the back burner in order for us to do the things we need to do to move forward, okay? So keep that in mind here with the moon and Capricorn is sure we're thinking about a lot of important things where our life should go, but maybe we're not as comfortable as we want to be in the process just because there's so much that needs to get done, okay? So that's what's happening there. As we're kind of thinking very seriously about life, um, late yesterday and into this morning, the moon was in a sextile here with Venus, which had actually just moved into the very beginning of Pisces. So I think anything that we were doing to be dedicated, to be disciplined, um, to put a strategy in place, to create the life that it is that we want, or to think more about our life and where it's going, was in helping us to feel more comfortable emotionally, to feel more comfortable inside uh, um, in some way, okay? Also helping us too to start to work better with other people and with our relationships all right so I think that that was a good thing okay if you if you took the task <laughs> of putting in some hard work here okay I was like this Capricorn moon can be hard if you're not prepared to be as dedicated as the moon requires you to be <laughs> and to be as disciplined uh, as it is. But I think if you take on the seriousness of the moon and own the fact that work needs to be done uh, in a more practical way, then I think this could be a good opportunity here, um, right, for you to start to feel much better on the inside, okay? Um, so that's what I'm going to say about that. Then after that happens, um, at 6 a.m. Mountain Time today, the moon then comes a little bit further into Capricorn and is conjunct Saturn, which is where you see it right here in the chart. Okay, and that again is going to bring up more discipline, <laughs> more attention almost to detail here uh, and being practical about where your life is going, maybe some very serious thoughts coming in at 6 a.m. and maybe feeling a little restricted emotionally as well. Okay, so I think that's just what's going on because we have the moon here at 6 a.m. coming in a conjunction with Saturn in its home sign of Capricorn. <laughs> All right, so just a lot of work here, being needing to be practical, needing to be dedicated to disciplined and think more seriously about our life than we were the past few days when the moon was in, you know, excitable, fun Sagittarius. Okay, so I think that's what we're coming into now. Maybe having a bunch of new things, exciting things that we were doing when the moon was in Sagittarius 
um, for the past few days and then now needing to put in the work here to understand how we can take these things that we were excited about to build on them and to move forward and maybe that's what the problem is <laughs> sorry you guys know it takes me a little while to get going sometimes but maybe that's what the problem is is that there were a lot of exciting things that came up when the moon was in Sagittarius and now it's like fitting all of that like fun expansive stuff that um that Sagittarius brings into like a much smaller space into like a pinhole and maybe that's the hard part is like how do we pick and choose what we want to do so that we can start to build on it and it maybe our feelings being hard because we have so many things that we're passionate about but we can't do all of them or need to make sure that we're disciplined in how we get them done all right so that's what I see going on there then the moon's just going to hang out like that all day um, from 6 a.m. in the morning until 10 o'clock at night okay and that could bring right dedication and discipline is necessary but the moon when it's void too also not like totally my favorite it could be a little bit hard to get things done during the day um, but I think there's gonna be a lot of time spent just thinking right about where your life is going how you can do life better yeah and hopefully trying to put in the work to make it happen Okay, I wouldn't stress yourself out too much if during the day with this void moon, it's hard to get work done. Um, I think it's important to think about that. We have a moon in Capricorn. I think it's important to do things. I think it's important to build something and to think very seriously about your life. But I do just want to say, if you feel like during most of the day, it's hard for you to get work done, to not like stress yourself out too much. <laughs> you know, use this opportunity to think about your life, maybe to think about the future, um, to strategize better, but yeah, I wouldn't I just wouldn't be too concerned if, if things don't get done today um, Okay, just because of the moon being here Then after that happens um, at 10 p.m. at night the moon and Capricorn is then going to come in it to a sextile uh, Here with Neptune and I think that's going to help us to feel much better Okay, really helping us to get more understanding about our life, to just feel better on the inside, to connect with ourselves spiritually in some way. Coming in with the sextile to Neptune at 10 p.m. So I do see that being nice. Maybe the morning is a little bit hard um, at 6 a.m., feeling a little bit restricted, feeling a little serious. Maybe the rest of the day is also a little hard, feeling like I'm not really getting that much done or I'm trying to get a lot done, but maybe it's just not working out. And then I think the nighttime is where you start to get more of that understanding of what's going on, feel better inside, check in with yourself spiritually and revive perhaps some of that creativity that it is that maybe you were looking for earlier, all right? <laughs> That's what I see going on there. I'm just gonna leave it as that at that. Oh, with this Capricorn moon going on. And it's kind of interesting, too, because we are coming into a dark moon just about, you know, before the solar eclipse, too. And we, when you come into a dark moon, you know, I think it's going to take us another day or two for that. But there could be, like, a lot of emotions that come up from beneath the surface. And, of course, with the moon being in Capricorn, these may not be good emotions. And so I think just hang tight. Don't freak out if there's anything hard that comes up. And just stay the course. Try to be dedicated and disciplined. And you will be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. You know, it'll be okay later on if you just are patient now. Okay, so that's what I'm going to say there. Um, I mentioned this yesterday, Venus and Pisces, a very good thing. Hopefully relationships get, should get easier. Hopefully people should be more compassionate than maybe they have previously as well. And hopefully it should just get easier to relate to people emotionally and spiritually with Venus here in Pisces. So I do like that a lot. All right, while that's going on, we also do have the Sun and Mercury here in a conjunction uh, coming to close to a conjunction here in a square with Jupiter. So even though our relationships are getting better, there could be some um, um, still more changes in life that we need to make and, until we can personally, you know, as a whole, start to feel better in some way here. I think there's still some transformation that is going on um, the way we see our life and where we see our life going that we're just really having to um, get used to in, in some way and maybe feeling a little conflicted here with some changes we have to make before we can move forward. All right, that's going on. And then we do have Mars here in a square with Neptune also coming in here, maybe bringing some confusion about something new that you're doing um, moving on, but also really a big opportunity here to be spiritual and to be intuitive and to be creative coming in. 
all right I'm just gonna leave it at that you know I'm just gonna be honest because I feel like I'm struggling a little bit to give you a coherent like message for today and I really just feel like like all the planets are <laughs> like on hold a little bit I know like all these planets are moving and like nor at the normal speed they normally move you know and all of them for the most part are direct so it's not like planets are moving slow but I just feel like we have a lot of planets here that are trying to catch up to each other I mean you've got the Sun Mercury and Venus that are all running pr pretty close here you've got like Mars coming in where Sag was uh, where Saturn was and Sag and so I feel like a lot of the alignments that we're going on now are just like old things things that maybe for the past week or so or two since the lunar eclipse have been happening that we're just like going over the same stuff over and over again that like nothing's really happening nothing's really moving or if things are moving they're coming in like piecemeal like bit by bit like a little here and a little there going on and I really do think that what we're doing is we're just waiting for like the the solar eclipse i think we're waiting for the solar eclipse we're still working out some same issues over and over again the change transformation seeing your life in different ways and i think once the eclipse comes then it's going to be a lot easier you're not going to be dealing with some of the same stuff and things are going to start moving a lot faster but before the solar eclipse gets here on the 15th on Thursday of this week I think we're just kind of dealing with some old issues trying to take care of the same stuff and trying to make sure that uh, every part of us <laughs> is on board so that we can have this really big new beginning that's going to come in at the eclipse okay that's just what I'm gonna say there <laughs> all right <laughs> um, so your card let's go there for the day is the this is the four this is the four of wands upright um, so with this card, I normally see is like a milestone moment of reaching some kind of, yeah, milestone in some way, some kind of like small success, small successes I see coming here with this. Um, and it's normally a positive card. You know, maybe it won't be such a bad day. I mean, the, the day does end on a moon and a sextile with Neptune, uh, which I think is a very, very pretty aspect where you're starting to feel really comfortable inside. And I think what's going on here is if you're dedicated, if you're disciplined, if you're putting in a plan here, uh, thinking, I want to say more practically about your life in some way, I think there is a good opportunity for you to start to feel better at the end of the day, to start to feel like things are going the way that you want them to go. And maybe that's just what the message is today is that if you just hang tight and if you try to put a plan in place and just go slow and steady I think you're going to be fine I think there's a lot of opportunity around to just start to feel better okay in some way just as long as you don't freak out too much <laughs> I know there's a solar eclipse that's about to come um you know I know there's more left to the story there's lots of new things going on some unexpected things I think are going to come up too after the eclipse but if you just hang tight not freak out here stay the course I think you're going to start to feel a lot better at the end of the today so that you can yeah do what needs to be done all right so that's what i've got for you today thank you so much for watching my horoscope if you like it please like it on youtube subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and i will talk to you later